when Dr. Gross closed at First Doctors in 1938, uh, you, this must have given you some added hope. Yeah. Uh, what, what, what were your thoughts at that point? Well, before that, I'd been thinking uh, if oxygen closed it, would uh, nitrogen open it? And, mm -hmm. But I hadn't got very far. Mm -hmm. But as soon as he did it, I immediately... See, I'm not a surgeon. I can do anything. It's much easier if, you, if you're not a surgeon than if you are to do these things. And I immediately thought, well, if you can close a ductus, why can't you build a ductus? And that mm -hmm. that would help these children mm -hmm. and keep them alive. Right. I didn't realize how much it would help them. Yes. But did you, you proposed that to Dr. Gross, didn't you? Yeah. Then I went up, and it was in 39, after he'd published his paper. And yes. After that, and my father was getting on, I went up and proposed it to Dr. Gross. And, of course, he was in the first flush of success of brilliance of closing a doctor. He said, oh, yes, I built many of them. That's okay. And I said, I think it would be a great help to a cyanotic child. And he was so enthusiastic at building a doctor, he thought nothing could be as stupid. Enthusiastic about closing a doctor. Yes, yes, yes right. about closing a doctor. Yes. Why, why put one in? Yes. <laughs> and that, that just seemed to him the most illogical thing that you could think of doing. Mm -hmm. Well, that must have been a little discouraging to you. Well, then I thought, well, my father also at that time, he was older, and he asked me what I was doing, and I said, well, seeing what the chances were of working in Boston. He said, don't come where you're tolerated. Go where you're wanted. Stay where you're wanted. <laughs> that was very generous of him. And I went back and waited to see who was coming in in surgery. See, we had no chief of surgery then. Right. This was, a, in, well, about four, 1940, wasn't yes, it? Yes, it was 1940, you Dr. see. Dr. Blaylock came in 1941. Uh, well, then... Was it at when after Dr. Blaylock closed that patent ductus, uh, what, what, I, you, you kind of began to push him, didn't you? Yeah, the, I kicked into him and I said, Dr. Blaylock, I stand in awe and admiration of your surgical skill, but the really great day will come when you build me a ductus for a cyanotic child and not when you close a ductus for a child who had a little too much blood going to the lung. Uh -huh. and he gave a sigh. He really thought he'd done something. Then he said to me, when that day comes, this will seem like child's play. 